Hey guys, welcome back to Midwest Garage. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily fix windshield wiper blades that no longer work. Now, I'm gonna go over the three main reasons why this is a big problem in the 1990s Chevy pickups, as well as pretty much any GM vehicle in the 90s. And I'm gonna show you two ways to fix it. One way is absolutely free and takes a little bit of extra work, and the other way costs about 10 bucks and takes virtually no work. And if you want to learn how to fix your vehicle, do budget restorations, troubleshoot equipment, and all sorts of other types of garage related stuff, be sure to subscribe to Midwest Garage so you don't miss anything. So the big problem with my pickup is that when I want to use my windshield wiper blades, they pretty much work whenever they want. And usually when they don't want to work is when I need them. Now, usually the windshield wiper motor isn't the issue with these vehicles. It's the actual electrical or circuit board. So that's what we're going to be replacing today. Let me show you what my windshield wipers are doing right now. And of course, they're working now that I don't want them to. All right, so what usually happens when I want them to work and they won't is I can hear the motor whirring or making kind of a sound like it wants to go, but it's not actually getting the power to power the wiper blades. So before you go ahead and start thinking that it's your wiper motor, I want you to check the circuit board that is right inside of there. So that's what we're gonna be doing, and I'm gonna show you the three reasons why that circuit board is usually the culprit. Now, pretty much all you need to get the circuit board out of here is a T20 Torx bit and maybe a flathead screwdriver. And the first thing you wanna do is pull this electrical connector off. Mine had a little bit of a, a locking tab here that I just pulled straight out. And then you just pull up on this tab and the electrical connector slides right out. And then you take your T20 Torx bit and remove these three screws right here. Once your three screws are out, just pop this cover off, and there's your circuit board. Now to pull this out, there's three plugins or connections behind this, so you don't wanna just rip it out. You wanna be careful and mindful of these three plugins down here. We'll pull this out and let's take a look at what the problem is. All right, so now that you have your circuit board out, you can inspect it. And let's go over the three reasons why these usually fail before the motor does. Because those wiper motors are pretty bulletproof on these vehicles. So like I said, this is usually the culprit. Now, the first reason that this fails is because all of these solder points on the face of the circuit board end up cracking and breaking. And so then you lose power to it. So the quick, easy, free fix is to grab a soldering gun or a soldering iron and just touch all of these wherever they're cracked or broken and it fixes your circuit board. Now, when you look at mine, none of them are broken or cracked in any of these solder points. So that's not the issue. And honestly, what I suggest doing is no matter what the problem is with this, you can get a brand new one for like $10 and I got this off of Amazon. I'll put my affiliate link down in the description below so that you can get this for your own truck or vehicle. And like I said, I think it's around 10 bucks, so you really can't go wrong. And because it's Amazon, you're gonna have it like that. Now, the main reason why these solder points tend to break is there's a lot of tension on this plug in here, and it ends up just wearing down and cracking these. The second reason that this tends to fail is because you don't have a proper seal around the circuit board box and so water and dirt and debris get in there and it just kind of shorts the board out which i'm assuming was my issue because if you look on the inside of my cover here really dusty in there you can see where it's probably gotten a lot of moisture over the last 20 years and so the circuit board ended up just failing over time which like i said it's intermittent and of course when i want to show you that it doesn't work it works um, i guarantee if it was raining outside my windshield wipers wouldn't be working right now. And finally, the third reason why these tend to fail is they just end up getting kind of burnt out. You can see these contact points here. There's a little bit of grease on them, but overall they just look really crappy, especially when you compare it to the brand new one. 
And as usual on this channel, I always take my new part compared to the old one, make sure that they're exactly the same, which they are. And the cool thing is that the new circuit board comes with a brand new cover, so it's gonna look nice and shiny after you're done. So like I said, you can fix this for free if soldering points are your issue, but for 10 bucks, it's a lot easier to just replace it with a brand new one. So let's take the new one and install it in the pickup right now. Before I install it, I think I will put a little bit of dielectric grease on these three prongs. These are the ones that I told you to be careful of when you're originally pulling it out. Probably a little bit on these contact points up here and just be careful that you don't break them or anything. All right, so putting the new one in is the exact same as taking the old one out. You just wanna be careful with it. And I don't know if you can see on the video, but there's kind of a channel there where this part slides into. So we'll just slide it right in, make sure that it's pushed in all the way, and then we'll put our new cover on. And if you're worried about the seal of this, some people put a little bit of silicone around this before they install it, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Well, that was embarrassing. All right, so then of course, the last step is to just reinstall your connector. All right, now let's see if our windshield wipers work, which if they do, it just means that I didn't make it any worse than it already was. Don't mind the dirty truck. Cool. So there you have it. That's how you fix your windshield wipers in a 90s, GMC Chevy pickup or pretty much any GM vehicle because uh, like I said this is a very common issue with that circuit board going out and even if that doesn't end up being your issue and you do have to replace the wiper motor then this is only 10 bucks and I suggest checking this out before replacing the wiper motor so just keep that in mind. Now one last thing if you guys like this video please let me know down in the comments below let me know if it helped you out that's one of my favorite things is helping people out and that's the whole reason this YouTube channel was created. So give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment and consider subscribing to Midwest Garage if you haven't already and maybe check out some of these other videos that pop up around here. I have a lot more videos on easy GM truck repairs. I have a couple of projects that I'm currently working on and all types of other garage related shenanigans. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.